I notice that some of you are jotting down notes on the brochure or on your phones, or where you're texting. <laughs> what are you going to do with these notes later? Throw away? Turn into a diary? A tweet? Or just forget? How long are they going to last? Who will be reading them in five or 50 years? As a scholar of Chinese literature, I was struck when I found out that a large body of marginalia from the Song Dynasty, similar to our notes tonight, has been preserved. These 17,000 pieces of marginalia make up, ten, make up of 10% of all the extant prose literature preserved from this period. How did that happen? First, some background information. By marginalia, I'm referring to a wide range of miscellaneous prose or jottings that are often short, personal, and informal. Main categories include personal letters, anecdotes, and marginal notes. And here are some examples of marginal notes. Luckily, we still have dozens of them in the original manuscript form. This 8th century painting was originally clean. Gradually, readers and collectors inscribed notes and put seals on it, a practice that continued for a thousand years until it was put behind the glass window of Metropolitan Museum. For calligraphy, later readers attached pieces of paper at the end or even at the beginning of the original piece and wrote colorful marginal notes on it, making it into a scroll that keeps on growing. We can see the boundaries of these added pieces of paper vary in colors, sizes, and texture, marked by the seals of the authors of marginal notes. It is understandable that marginalia like these were preserved because they became part of precious paintings and calligraphy. But the rest tens of thousands of marginalia exist today because they have been collected and printed as part of literary collections in 12th century China. Therefore, the real question I explore in my dissertation is, how did marginalia become literature? in 12th century China? To answer this, let us look at one note in detail. I paraphrased parts of it. My friend is good at calligraphy, and he has a bag filled with delicate brushes and ink sticks given by people who wanted his writing. One day, I found half a stick of very precious ink and wanted it. He felt reluctant, but I snatched it anyway. It is this very ink that I'm writing with now. <laughs> Pay attention to the last line. By highlighting the ink he was using, the author, Su Shi, made this piece a vignette of the very moment of his composition. And here lies the most important reason of 12th century people's fascination with marginalia. They are self-referential and remind the readers of the vivid details of the moment of writing, be it the pattern of the paper, the quality of the ink, or the way the author waves his brush. Such features of these kinds of notes create an intimate bond between the reader and the author of the previous era. And such a bond was especially important for readers of the early and mid-12th century. A key author, Su Shi, had been censored, which made his writings even more coveted. Additionally, in 1120s, the Song Dynasty lost most of its land north of the Yangtze River, and the imperial court fled to the south. In the wake of the loss of the northern capital, these marginalia served as nostalgic mementos of the glorious literary, literary culture of the lost north. These factors,
coupled with fierce competition among publishers to produce the most complete literary collections in print, led to the flourishing of marginalia culture and their establishment as new literary genres. Now, why is the story of marginalia from 800 years ago important for us? First, it reminds us that literary categories are constantly shifting. Literary values and even the very definition of literature were formed in specific historical context. Concepts and objects often gained new value and meanings that were drastically different from what was conceived for them. And it is these values as recognized and projected by later people that made them last. But ultimately, this is a story about what is ephemeral and what is long-lasting. These marginalia survived because 12th century people appreciated the value of their transience. With this in mind, you may want to pause a second when you throw away your notes or post something to the cloud. Sometimes ephemeral words outlive us. <laughs>